Hey everybody, it's me over Jones back with a new video. Today we're gonna have some some wheel gun fun this Saturday. I got a couple of uh, I got a couple of revolvers that, that I brought with me. Um, like I mentioned to you guys that I had something like something like this. This is an H and R uh, 732 sidekick. It's a 32 uh, long, <laughs> 32 long um, revolver. Two, 32 Smith and Wesson long. So this is a, this is a very uh, it's a fairly old, old cartridge. I got my 357 today. And you guys see the new grip. And we're going to be testing out <laughs> the Smith the Wesson Mall 10 with the new grips I'll put on from the 357. So we're going to see how accurate some of these guns are. And also just to have a little bit of fun. So stay tuned. So first, I'm going to shoot is the Strong 730 side kit. 32 Smith. Oh, this one comes apart from here. So the hammer has to be cocked back. You know the goat has to step in. Target at seven yards. Double action, so heavy. Well, I think accurate. Let me see if we'll strike. He's willing to have light. Action is a little all over the place, but I gotta show you this. My last shot. It's always better when you just going double action shooting. single action this time. I think that'd be enough for this revolver. It's not a bad piece. It's just very it's definitely definitely meant to be a sidekick, not be something that's made to use. 
This is more double action. Yeah. More single action. So, your single action seems to be closer together. Add a few to hit, you know, came closer to the bullseye. One fly off the side. But double action is more brutal. <laughs> All right, let's move on to 38 next. All right, for the 38 special, I'm shooting Supreme Partisan. 130 grain F and J. And the target's at seven yards. Not bad at seven yards. And I had one right there fly off, but a lot of them stayed really close, pretty close together. That's I'm impressed. Um, I may have to change my grip a little bit so I can maybe hit the bullseye. But so far, I like this thing. Let's try single action on this one. Now we're gonna try single. I'm talking here right this time. I got a little sloppy, but it's pretty impressive. I think I need to work on, um, still need to work on my, uh, just my trigger pull, and my side alignment. But so far, the single action was very comfortable. Double action was a lot more dead on. 
I gotta say that I'm very impressed with doing double action. And I'm gonna try single action and one hand. I'm gonna do a double action first. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. I'll stay on the paper plate. That wouldn't play off the plate. I'm gonna try my single action. Plate, but still a little more practice. It's very close to the shoot. Here are my double action shots. This one, I guess I went off to the little further off the side. But one, two, three, four, five. Here are my single action shots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe not as accurate as my three fifty as I guess I was at my three fifty seven nor I am normally, but I gotta say I do enjoy shooting this pistol. Alright, let's move on to the three fifty seven and see how that plays out. Now knife tech. Try double action first on the left target and single action on the right target. I got That's me at seven yards. I had one right here. I screwed up on, but uh, they all seem to go fit within this this whole circle. Then get a bullseye. But like I say, I hit, uh, hit got two in the same spot. Same right there too. All right, we'll try a single action on this one. It's hard to fail.
first couple of shots, I was really drilled in this area, then that one I've slipped up, but uh, so far these are pretty good. Seven yards, single action, from three to seven. I think it's because I shot three single action for the longest, but uh, I bet I do intend to practice more with double action on this revolver, especially on the 38. I'm going to do single action one handed. Nuts. I want to fly off the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's pretty sick. So back from the range, and I say that I I do like that on that model ten. It's it seemed to be very accurate at uh, seven yards. Um, I don't think there was anything wrong with the ammunition I was using. I think it's just a matter of me getting uh you know wrap get him or, or be able to adapt to using that uh using that type of pistol along with that cartridge because I, I don't really shot third i don't shoot 38s very often i shoot uh whenever i'm shooting my my 37 magnum i'm shooting um 37 magnums but i will say that the grips on both guns are pretty good that 30 <laughs> 32 uh, smith and wesson long that little h and r that's a that's a doozy to shoot the the double action is is real is really hard but um but well, the single action is actually pretty, pretty nice and I'd say it'd be, you know, it's not a bad pistol to have if you're, you know, out, you know, just out in the woods, and uh, you know, you see like a, you know, you see a squirrel or a snake, or something like that. I don't know, a snake, unless your, you know, unless your aim is that good, you can kill a snake with a 32 a revolver. Uh, I think it's a good plinking gun, and I think it's also good for people who are, you know, if you're getting, if you're learning, um, if you're, you know, getting more and getting more into revolvers, 32 long. If it's in a good, you know, if the pistol's in good shape, I think you can have a lot of fun. It's a, not a lot of recoil, and it's pretty accurate you gotta be able to keep everything steady you know working your trigger pull you know, working your grip things like that but i'm gonna head home um hope you guys enjoyed the video if uh, you like the footage uh please can you know throw a like share subscribe my way and if you want to donate to the channel but help with you know ammo and help with you know getting more uh, getting more you know things to take for maintaining guns even more guns in itself just look for the give that cheese button on my youtube or the youtube homepage and go to paypal Donate any amount would you like. Any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I'll see what I can do to address them. But that's my video. Uh, <laughs> we'll get, you know, we'll get fun for on Saturday. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care and God bless.